Well, hello, hello. Welcome to another vlog. It is already like 60 degrees outside. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful spring day. It's putting me in the best mood. So uh, I got home a little bit early today. See, it's almost four. Uh, I'm going to try a new recipe tonight. It's actually, I it's shepherd's pie, which I absolutely love, but it's a vegetarian shepherd's pie. And it's got uh, tons of, tons of good reviews. So I'm really excited to try it because I love shepherd's pie. But I'll, uh, I'll walk you through all that here in a few minutes. But it's, I was just like, I gotta go sit outside for a few minutes. It's so nice. And see, what did, we, what did we even do this week? It's been so busy. We uh, we got the new episode of the Disneyville podcast filmed. So that should be going live here soon. It might already, it should already be live by the time this goes up. Um, I finished up the podcast room vlog. That should be already be up by the time this goes up. Um, I worked a bunch on my new website. Tomorrow, Jessica and I are gonna be on the news and that's gonna be awesome. Um, Pinocchio's eating bird seed. All right, Pinocchio, are you loving this good waffle? Let's play good. Anyway, I came home early specifically so I could start on dinner. So I guess I should go and do it. I actually do that, but I'm like, it's just so nice. The birdies are chirping. Oh, I'm gonna open up the windows. Loving it. All right, let's go. Let's go make dinner. All right, this is what we're making tonight. It looks so, so good. Five stars and 5,000 ratings. That's like unheard of that anyway. Um, so should be pretty easy, just a little time consuming. Um, just a ton of vegetables and stuff to cut up. Obviously the potatoes are gonna go on top. So those, you mash the potatoes first, then you make the filling with all the vegetables and then uh, top with the mashed potatoes and then bake. So should be relatively easy. Um, I really hope it's good. I mean, with 5,000 reviews and five stars, how could it not be, right? All right, let's go. Oh, and may I just say, welcome to the cutting board. The cutting board, I need to oil. Don't, don't pay attention to that. I know, I know. I can already see your comments. Okay, welcome to the cutting board. veggies in there but it literally just came out all mashed potatoes yeah you got yeah it looks really good that is really good it looks fantastic oh, you're gonna love that it's lentils instead of meat right mm -hmm. nice and then just a bunch of veggies and then the mashed potatoes on top Ooh. that is very good Hi. So we're doing, we're, we're like inception vlogging right now because I'm vlogging about this on my channel and Jessica's doing it on her channel. Yeah, seriously, so it's the same outfits on my channel too. It's good, you can see uh, Tyler's version or, you know, the original version. Um, but the, we're going to be on the local news this morning. And so- I'm we're, nervous. We're on our way there. So I mentioned this yesterday in, when I was talking about dinner. Long story short, basically a friend of mine that I've known since kindergarten, Kayla Sullivan, became a local newscaster. And then she started doing these TikTok videos of her doing like silly things with like a newscaster voice. And then she They're went kiddos, viral and yeah. like completely blew up and she's got, I don't know, I don't know, hundred million following her now. And she still does these social media real talk things on local news. And so she's invited Jessica and I to go on and talk this morning on, uh, on the news. Yeah, it actually, it will be fun. We were practicing <clears throat> in the car, our answers to some questions. Yeah, it's like four minutes. Like I know. I'm like, well, and I'm like, I can be very verbose, so I'm like trying. It's to like... almost more a matter of trying to cut it down because I know we were just talking about. Yeah, it's never a concern of not knowing what to say. It's that I cannot stop talking. You gotta learn to edit yourself. <laughs> Me too. Well, because we were talking about, you know, this is a four minute interview. We just filmed a podcast that was like an hour and a half of us filming. <laughs> so like, you know, it really is is going to be very quick. But yeah. they're showing some footage of ours, you know, and that mm -hmm. uh, footage of ours, and then. Um, answering yeah. a couple questions and then anyway should, should be, be fun. fun different experience Genevieve her jaw dropped when I told her she said mom you look fancy I was like thanks she said I, I told her we're gonna be on the news and she was like 
like, yeah, <laughs> your parents are cool, kid. Don't you forget it. <laughs> well, a lot of times in the morning, I'll have the news on, like, while I'm making them breakfast. And she'll come in. She's like, do we have to watch the news? I'm like, no, no, no. We'll turn it off. But she knows. She's like, wait, the news? You're going to be the, on that? <laughs> like, from the news? <laughs> anyway, that's where we're headed. Yeah. And I don't know if we can get any footage while we're there or not. So this might be us, you know, in the car at the end. I don't know. We'll see. I'll feel it up. Vibes. <laughs> I'm laughing because we're getting the exact same footage. <laughs> like you see, there's a sign back there I got footage of. And then she's like, oh, I should get footage of that. I'm like, I already got it. <laughs> same montage. with Kayla, we are featuring local content creators Tyler and Jessica Braun. They are married, but their accounts are separately successful. Tyler is most known for his travel content, while Jessica is all about beauty, but they do so much more online, multiple platforms. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you guys here because I've been following you for quite some time. I actually went to elementary school with Tyler growing up. I haven't seen him since, but I've been following you guys and your success. Did you ever see yourselves in this position being content creators. Not for a living, no. right? This job didn't even exist 10 years <laughs> yeah. ago. So. Right, just about. But you're both theater people. Yeah, we met doing theater. And so, I mean, that it's kind of our in our wheelhouse. So I think we were talking about this earlier, you know, having that theater background can help. I'm talking in front of people, in front of a camera, et cetera. So I think we lean it's on that a lot. easy transition from the theater yeah. world. To <laughs> and what I really like about it, it's super relatable. It's super conversational. What got you started with beauty products? Funny you should ask. I Because we were in theater, I learned a lot about like stage makeup and stuff like that. And I remember having a moment 10 years ago where I was watching. I discovered this whole YouTube world. And I'm like, I think I could do that. Like, I might not be very good at it, but I feel like I could pull it off. Absolutely. And then Tyler, he has his Tyler Travels TV. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. How did that start? Uh, I've just been riding her coattails for about 10 years now. She <laughs> she had her channel and she told me, she's like, you know, you should start your own. I'm like, well, how, what, what should I even talk about? Whatever. And I thought, you know, I always loved Rick Steves and stuff like that on television growing up. And so I thought, he has the greatest job in the world. I wonder if I could do something like that. And so even here we are 10 years later, I still emulate Rick Steves. You totally do. <laughs> but, I mean, so that's just, I was like, that's what I love talking about. And we do a lot of other things, you know, Disney parks. And we, we film a lot at our house and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Recipes and DIY stuff. And just a little bit of this. Little yeah. Bit. All right. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. For Thank us. You. So cool. All right. That was so fun. Honestly, it was. Why do we still have that planned up there? I don't know. I threw it up there at some point and I just never it just took never, it down. Uh, that's right. It's thriving. Uh, it's not real. But yeah, it's, it's doing great. <laughs> It'll never die. It'll That's never right. leave you. It'll never say you're not good looking. Anybody get that reference? That's an old one. Um, what is it? I'm not going to tell. Okay, pause. If you know it, write it down. Okay, I'll tell you. It's Night at the Roxbury. Oh, yeah, I've <laughs> never about actually fake, seen that movie. Fake plant store. Anyway, um, so anyway, so that was really fun. Um, it was. I'm proud of us. That's yeah. what I was just talking about in my vlog. <laughs> so, I heard her vlogging down here. I'm like, I should actually probably... You're like, hey, I was supposed to do that. I, I got to wrap up this segment on mine before I move on to the next one. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. Um, all right, back to you. <laughs> well, hello and happy Saturday. It is a beautiful, beautiful spring day here in Indiana. It is perfect weather. It's like 73 and sunny out. It's just, it's amazing. Um, oh, look, there's some duckies. Hi, ducks. Anywho, uh, sorry, I get distracted easily. Um, the uh, Tomorrow is Easter, and so Jessica's family has requested that I make some sourdough bread. So I've got some sourdough going here. I've got my Levan in here. I've already got everything uh, else. It's already all pre-measured and ready to go. So as the day goes on, I can continue on. Which, by the way, I actually just finally put my sourdough method on welcome to the cutting board.com. So if you are somebody who's interested in making sourdough and you've wanted to know how I do it, I've talked for years about doing it. Eventually I'll probably do a video on it as well, but the method that I do is on there. So I can link that below um, in like a written out format. Um, I also have some pizza dough for tonight, some sourdough pizza dough. Cause we're going to do some homemade pizza tonight for dinner. 
And this recipe is made with sourdough starter discard. So as your, I'm always looking for stuff that I can do with my discard because I always hate wasting it. Obviously sometimes you just have to, um, but anytime I can avoid that and make something with it, I would obviously much rather do that. So doing homemade pizza tonight, we've got uh, the sourdough going for tomorrow. I'm, make, I'm doubling the recipe that I normally do because I've just got, it's a big family, lots, lots. I'm doing four bowls of sourdough, but while that's all going, I have another project that I'm gonna work on for a couple hours and just see what I can get done. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get it done. But here in our garage, I swear this always happens. <laughs> we, two things happened and then it just became a big spiraling mess from there. So it's been on and off nice weather. So I got our bikes out so that we could go out on a bike ride um, and I got them, you know, the, the tires all aired up and, you know, just springtime cleaning and getting them all ready to go. We've already done several bike rides and it's been so fun. The girls have been loving it. Anyway, so as the weather gets better and better and better, I have these pulleys. I don't know if you can see them here. These pulleys that uh, have the, they, they hold the bikes up above our garage. They are amazing. I absolutely love these things. Um, but our garage is so small, we don't have any room to like keep them on the sides. So I got all the bikes down and I was, that was one thing. And then we were riding them uh, a couple days in a row. Then we ended up getting a new patio set, which I'll talk about that in a little bit because I'm going to end up putting our new patio set together. Because if you've watched the vlogs over the last couple of years, that wood, the wooden set that we had, every spring I had to like sand it down and redo it. It was a huge pain. And so we ended up um, getting rid of that. We sold it online and I mentioned, I was like, this is the perfect set if you have like a sunroom or a three season room or something like that. But because ours was just outside on our patio, it's just, the sun just beat it, beat it up. So um, it's a really cool set and we actually really, really liked it, but it was just so much upkeep. So if the person who ended up taking it um, had a sunroom and I was like, that's perfect. That's gonna be the perfect spot for that table. So we got another one um, from Costco at a really good deal. So hopefully that's gonna be a lot more, um, it's not sustainable, but a lot, it won't be near as much work, I guess is what I'm trying to say each year. Um, and then as it happens with the two big boxes of the patio stuff and the bikes being out, well then this whole area just became a catch all <laughs> for everything. So anyway, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time here and try and clean this uh, area of the garage up. I think I'm gonna keep the bikes down though, because we love riding our bikes, but these pulleys are amazing because they keep them up. And the one thing this garage has is height. But then we, it's a, it's, I have to, it takes a little while. You got to pull the car out. You got to take them down, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to actually leave these out. So we still won't have the car pulled in here, but at least that way we can just quickly head out on our bike rides whenever we want to. Um, it's nice weather right now, so I can leave the car out. And then eventually when I have to, I will all put them back up. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this whole area cleaned up. Let's see how far I get. Okay, I feel like this is much, much better. So it'll obviously be a lot better when I take that slide to work and then I've got to put our new patio set together and then it will really be cleared out. I'm feeling so much better about this. Okay, first pizza's out of the oven. This one is for uh, Jessica and me. It's got half pineapple, half black olive with pepperoni all over. I would have done jalapeno on my side, but uh, we didn't have any. But anyway, that looks so good. And it smells even better. By the way, I will link this recipe that I used for the crust in the description box. I know I said it was a discard recipe, sourdough discard recipe, but it's the King Arthur one. Um, and it's one I've never tried before. So I'll, we'll try it here in a minute, but either way, I'll link it below. Well, hello and good evening. For my final trick in this video, I am going to actually replace these two bar stools. So we're gonna actually take these and use these elsewhere. And they're fine. We, uh, I think we, I don't remember when we got them. We've had them for a long time. My problem with them is they have these like weird like half arms and half back. So they're not super comfortable to sit in. And we actually sit here quite a bit. Um, and then, you know, we'll have the TV on and stuff like that. So we'll sit here and eat and hang out and all that kind of stuff. So we're like, okay, we really want to get some more comfortable chairs. So we found this two pack. And now I can't remember if it was on Wayfair or Amazon. I can't remember. I'll, I'll have to look back and I can link them below. Um, but... We're going to get, so it came in a two pack. We wanted three. So if we like it, we might get another set. Cause I don't know if we'll have to see if four would even fit there. Um, but I don't know. We'll have to, we'll, we'll futz with all that. So um, I wanted to show you though, once they're done, the, one of the other things, and this is kind of silly, but it's kind of annoying. These stools go up and down, which is great. I love that functionality because some people are shorter and this, that, and the other. That's great but they have the single pole here. And for whatever reason, we have a little robot vacuum down here and it doesn't, it, every single time it gets caught up 
on the, the little round stool things here. I don't know why it just cannot hang <laughs> with this. But when it works, the, it runs like once a week. It's got the great lines and the carpet. It looks so nice. But I swear three out of four times I come down here and it's stuck on the bottom of these stools. So the ones that we got uh, have actual, you know, taller armrest, taller backrest, but they have four legs. So hopefully that means that the vacuum won't get stuck on them and it would actually run. I know that's kind of a silly thing, but it's just one of those things that's just been annoying for a long time. So anyway, very excited about our new stools. I'm gonna start putting them together. The one functionality we lose though is that they don't go up and down. So the ones we were looking for a very specific height these are a little bit shorter, so we kind of put these these down because they are adjustable at that height and use it for like that for a little while, and it was fine. So hopefully it'll be okay. So we might eventually get four stools. Right now we only have two stools just to test them out, a stool sample, if you will. But anyway, we'll figure all that out. Let's get to building. Okay, building is a strong word. Assembling. Let's get to assembling. Assemble! Okay. Style, 100%. Really like it. It's pretty comfy, kind of nice. It's really pretty, seat. yeah. Like I like sitting in it. The backrest is nice. So I can actually lean back in the backrest. Mm -hmm. The handles or the, the armrests are a little low, but I mean, even still, pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. It spins, but under the thing, they're pretty short. They're too. pretty low. Darn. Uh, and they're not adjustable. You know what I mean? These are adjustable. Yeah. But the only adjustable ones I found had the same disc at the bottom, which, like I said, is a problem <laughs> in its own right. <laughs> but I really like these chairs. We I know. What? We should try them in our kitchen. Let's go see. So we have these four underneath here. Mm -hmm. and this they is they just came with the house. Well, you know what I mean. Like yeah, we, when we, yeah. yeah, when we moved The in, owner they, left them. Yeah. Um, and they fit here perfectly, all four of them. But this is way more comfortable than most. And, it's the right height, it's, this is a much and actually that part. we have so many tones of wood in this room but that tone is close to, to the that. island's tone uh, so know, and we have black it's, countertops over there so do, because these are i think are called counter height and the thing that's is bar height but we wanted this style, style. We, we could not find that style, style taller in a bar height so we knew we, we were getting ourselves into but we just hoped it would be better <laughs> it looks nice different. though and you know what we could put three across. Yep. Is it too busy though? I don't think so. Actually, if anything, it might finish off the room nicely. You know what I mean? Like it kind of. So and it is, we both just sat in it. It is so much more comfortable to sit on than those. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll sit there and like work sometimes. And I'm like, well, that's way more comfortable than. I can see people like sitting here. I'm like actually sitting there. Yeah. And we already have them. <laughs> I just really like the design. I do too. I think it looks kind of nice well, in here. Always, I mean, I gotta build them, assemble them. <laughs> yeah. I could put them together and we could try them for a while. Yeah, it's true. Worst comes worse, if they're basically- Worst comes worse, we could resell them. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's like, like we, hey, but I don't think we'll hate I'm, them. I I'm think gonna, we'll get them in here and- I'm gonna charge an extra $70 for the assembly fee. I mean, <laughs> there you go, charge them more than what- I'm making money on this deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I think that, that could work. Nice. I think it could work. Okay, it is now another day, but I wanted to quickly show these stools. I think they actually look really nice here. So obviously only three fit there. Um, we have the fourth one down in the basement, but I am very excited about this. We've been sitting in them. They're very comfortable and I am <laughs> happy, happy accident, I guess. Um, now that said, I am about to embark on another assembly. <laughs> this one looks like it's gonna take forever. This is our new patio set. And I just opened this giant box, one of two. And I was hoping it'd be like, oh, all you have to do is, you know, put the, the arms on or something. And I'm like, oh no, this looks like a lot of pieces. <laughs> so, oh man, oh boy. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, happy Saturday. It's the end of this video. I'm gonna show you a couple things here. And then I'm gonna end this video here. And then the next video I'm planning on filming the eclipse and everything that happens with that. So um, by the time this goes up, the eclipse will already have happened, but I'm still gonna film that. So if you wanna see our perspective of it, obviously we're in Indiana and Indiana is like right in the middle of where the eclipse is supposed to be like at its most eclipsy. So anyway, so look forward to that.
Um, but I wanted to show you, I want to end this video with the table and chairs that we got. Finally got them finished, about to show you here in just a second. Um, but I also, before I put the new table and chairs out, I'm gonna show you, cause we're talking about getting a new deck and it's before I put the table out, it'll be easier to see. Um, so let me just show you here what I'm talking about. So our, so our deck is in pretty rough shape and my plan was this year. So this area back here, closer to the house, all these boards are fine. But as you get out here, where it gets a lot more sun, that's where they really start to uh, have been, you know, they deteriorate and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so my plan was to basically replace the boards from about here forward. Um, and more than that, so you can see like under here, it's kind of hard to tell in a video, but it's really starting to sag. These, I have rocks and stuff in them so that they don't fall over, but I think they're too heavy for our wooden deck. And so you can see there's a lot of spots where it's starting to, crack and fall and all that kind of stuff yeah you crack exactly um and these are starting to really deteriorate we also have like you can see oh my gosh that's about to fall right through look at that um so whole point of my story is once i put the table down you won't be able to see this so i wanted to get a little bit of footage now but instead of me replacing half the boards on this one of the beams underneath is also needing to be replaced some of the ones over here are starting to look really bad and so we got to talking about it and I think we talked about this last year and we were going to put it off, but I think we're going to do a Trex deck. So we're getting some quotes now. We got one already. We have two more companies that are going to come out and give us a quote and try and see if we can get a Trex deck because we kind of just want to, every two years I've had to take everything off, uh, sand it down, paint it, replace boards, all that kind of stuff. And it's a great deck. It's huge, but it's just, it's so much maintenance. And so even though a Trex deck is gonna be expensive, um, I just think it's gonna be worth it in the long run that we don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's the plan. Hopefully that'll happen this summer. We're gonna get a new deck, but just so you can kind of see like how deteriorated this one has become. Um, the one thing people mentioned with the Trex decks is that uh, people who have them said they really love them, but they said they get really hot. And so we got to talking to the Trex guy about it. And he said the newer lines that have come out, they have like, I don't know, Trex Premier, Trex, I don't know, Trex Deferis. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They have all these different lines. He said the newer lines don't get as hot. And he said he had, he had a client who got his like laser thing out and left them out and then tested them. And they do indeed not, the, the new lines don't get as hot. So I just thought that was interesting because I had never heard that until people mentioned it in comments on these videos. But he said that was a thing, but they've gotten a lot better. So that's just cool. So we'll see what they come back at. Hopefully we can get it done this summer, but it's just, it's so much maintenance to try and keep up a wood deck. I mean, it really is. So anyway, I wanted to show you this. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the table out and you can see the new table and chairs and then that'll be the end of this video. All right, here's our new table and chairs. I don't know if I mentioned already, we got it at Costco and it just seems so sturdy and so well-made. I am so happy with it. And in theory, I won't have to actually mess with it or sand it down or restain it. <laughs> every spring and every fall this is fantastic and the two chairs on the end are like those rocky chairs they're so comfy pinocchio do you like it good um also i was just moving something over here and i heard another one of these boards crack so i'm like okay <laughs> it's getting it's getting really bad anyway uh so that is very very exciting now okay i gotta get the uh rest of the back porch ready here for springtime pinocchio says i am already ready for springtime so anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this is the one, again, when I film these vlogs, they're over like two weeks. And so I never remember what I've talked about, what I'm not. I think this is the one with all the new stuff and all that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, there's the sun right above us. So in theory, we're going to have an awesome view of the eclipse, provided it's not uh, like cloudy and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I uh, am looking forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will enjoy that video. And I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you guys like and thumbs up and do whatever else and comment stuff, whatever it is you guys want to do. Anyway, <laughs> I'm feeling crazy. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.